Capital Jazz TV, I'm Lenny Green, and sitting with me, no other than the amazing, award-winning, just recently award-winning, too, Brother Ty Trippett. Can I call you Pastor, or should I call you Reverend? Ty is fine. Ty. Yeah. Brother, this is the 16th Capital Jazz Super Cruise. Wow. Your first. My first. And purposeful uh, at the time. Yeah. You know? As I mentioned to you a little earlier, nothing happens by chance. Everything happens for a purpose and a reason. You saw how, and I know you weren't here, but you saw how the energy was. There wasn't a seat in the theater that was not filled. Do you understand that impact? I, I was amazed by it. Were you? Yeah, I was amazed by it because our session was like during the day. <laughs> and there was a lot of other stuff going on. I didn't know if they was going to be doing aerobics or line dancing or I didn't know what was going to be going on during my, during my session. So to see everybody there, it was like, whoa. And then they weren't just sitting in the seats, bro. No. But who sits in the seat when Brother Ty trip? <laughs> I mean, look, we've seen this brother in action, oh. if not in person, yeah. on TV. Yeah, man. We see how you have moving. We see the, the spirit within you touches you. And it just transfers to people. Your word transfers, your ministry transfers to people as you perform. So yeah. nobody's gonna be sitting in their seat. It, it was it was amazing, man. And even the response from people afterwards, like yeah. uh Gerald Albright texts me, uh, like, yo, man, this I'm like, this is Gerald Albright, you know. Jameson Ross. Jameson Ross. Young like brother. all these amazing musicians and artists and constituents and my peers, or people who I looked up to for years, like Joe Albright, for them to be blessed by something I present or something I do, it's like. Does it still surprise you? Oh yeah, because you you honor the musicality and the musical intelligence of those who are listening to you. So this type of cruise is different. Jazz festival to me is, is different. The ears of the people on this cruise are more eclectic, more esoteric, and they understand music in a in a different way. Yes. Our appreciation is different. Yes. So the type of compliments or words I've been getting on this cruise yes. is different than a church uh, set or, a, or something for TV because they understand something in their musical intelligence. And so I appreciate that because I still, I, I mean, I, 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 when you understand scales and understand stuff like that and then you appreciate everything. Because some people love what they're feeling but don't know what it is. So for people to understand, oh, I see how you put that on the, like, I did do that. Mm. Yes, thank you. So it's just like a, another appreciation to, to uh, you know, experience. I love your humbleness. Thank you, brother. Uh, but at the same time, your gift is your gift. Yeah. And the anointing that you have in your life that you have, that's been instilled with you ever since you were a child to where you are now, yeah. is now coming out of your pores and, and dripping into the lives of others. Yeah. And when you sit down to creatively write, I mean, we're eight albums in now. Eight, I think I'm nine. How many albums am I in? Eight, about seven, eight. Yeah, something like that. And then the last how many? one, eight. The, eight. The, the last one that we just recently, you just walked away with a Grammy a few weeks ago. <laughs> Every time you say it, I'm still like, ah. it was something amazing. that you really didn't expect. Didn't expect it at all. You you know, uh, um, when you everybody who's nominated for a Grammy thinks that their work should be. The, the winner. I mean, you should sure, you should sure. you should believe in what you do, and you should really put your heart into it to the point where you expect the highest accolades for it. So I was no exception. I thought with my last project, oh, I put the blood, sweat, and tears in. I put the work in. This might I don't know. The, you know, you hear your surroundings talking about it. This might be the one. And then you go there, and other names are called. It's like oh, <laughs> you know. And like I said before, that was a soul check for me. Like all right, this just was a reset. Ty, why are you doing it? What are you doing this for? So when this one came around, the last one, uh, I was expecting the same thing, but I was going to be, I was prepared to be content. I was prepared to be content. The last time I was frustrated. This time I'm going to lose and be good with it. So I was expecting to be good with it until they called my name. And then. And I was great with it. <laughs> oh, so exciting. Are you so surprised at times of how your music touches the souls? Yeah. Uh <laughs> Uh, you probably hear all the time, oh my gosh, your voice, your voice, your voice. And you're like, I'm just, it's just me. Right. 
So that's how I am with my music sometimes. It's, it's my expression. It's like I'm doing this right now. And people can say, he's so animated. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. It's, 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 it's who I am. It's who God made me. So to hear the effects of the music or whatever I present come back at me from different perspectives, people think I'm blessing them, and I guess I am, but that's the law of reciprocity. Like, give, and it shall be given mm. to you. You know what I mean? Good measure. So that whole thing refreshes everyone. God is so good. The giver and the receiver are blessed if, if they, you know, accurately honor one another. You understand what I'm saying? Yep. So the system of God replenishes, refreshes everybody if you accurately honor. What I mean by that is if you enjoy somebody, you know what I mean? Tell them. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? Yes. And that can, that can bless them in a way that, you know, their music bless you and you might not even know it. Brother, you have blessed us, and I know you will continue to bless us. Yeah. You will continue to touch lives in many ways. But tell us, uh, before I let you go, two things. Tell us about the church. Okay. And also tell me and leave us with a word of hope and inspiration because the world is in turmoil right now. Yeah. Live Church Orlando. The church is called Live. It's in Orlando. Anytime y'all in Orlando, if the boat stopping by there, y'all come check <laughs> us out. Right off. <laughs> <laughs> or check us out on, on YouTube, Live Church Orlando. We're not religious. Uh, it's all about freedom, liberty, hope, and love. I'm telling you, you'll be blessed if you just check us out. Um, man, that's such a vast thing to say. What can I say to, to give hope to people? Because people have different levels of despair. Yeah. Uh, but that's what I love about God. There's one answer for every problem. Trust is tough because it requires vulnerability, sacrifice, and humility. You got to say, this is beyond me now. I got to trust that God can handle it. And that's a scary place to be. Walking by faith. Trust is an emotional investment. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm going to give you my, I'm going to give you that. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to give it to you, hoping to get a return. You know what I mean? Investment and a return. So trust is an emotional, mental and spiritual investment. And some people who fear letting go will never receive mm -hmm. what they really need. Mm. So I encourage everyone not to just have faith in God. Faith without works is there. So faith means I'm doing something. Mm -hmm. But to trust God, oh, he gonna do exactly what he says. Right now we're on a boat, but there's a war going on like in Israel right now. Correct. But we have to trust that God knows what he's doing. He doesn't make mistakes. We are responsible for some things in our lives. That's a hard pill to swallow. Because we get in trouble, we get in turmoil, mm -hmm. and we get in despair. We like, where's God at now? And he was like, well, I ain't get you in all that. Mm. Yeah, you did that. Mm. That's just real talk right there. Mm. We want God to bail us out immediately of a billion things we put ourselves into. So I would like to say, before going into those things, listen to those still small voices. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do that. Do that. Those still small voices will keep us out of a lot of despair and stress. But even if you do listen to the voice and you're in the storm, Jesus said, go on the boat and I'll meet you on the other side. The disciples was obeying them and they got in the boat and they went, they were going to the other side and they went right into a storm. How could I go into a storm <laughs> and I'm obeying God? Then they see him walking on the water. If you obey mm. God and you're in a storm or something right now, he just wants to show you another side of himself. You just got to trust that. But it's hard to trust in context. Yes. But I challenge you to do it. But we trust God will continue to bless you. Thank and you. you will continue to bring us the word. I appreciate it, brother. Thank you for coming on the first Capital Jazz Super Cruise. Hopefully it won't be my last. It will not be his Capital last. Capital One Jazz Cruise. Ty Trivet. Capital TV. Liddy Green. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, bro. Love you more. <laughs>